Hi there, in this video, we will see the process of creating a new listing specification that is super easy and will have a lot of fun. So let's get started. To create a new listing specification, we need to go to the listing menus in the left side column. As we take our mouse, the listing menus or submenu appears. Click on the listing specification link in the submenu. This takes us to a page where we can create the listing specification. Clicking on the add new button opens the corresponding page that will allow us to create the listing specification. To get started, we need to provide a title in the title box we would like to create. For example, we are taking a make as an our title for the specification. We always have the option to add it at any time later before publishing our specification. Now in the car details panel we'll need to provide values for the specification title we have just entered above that is make for example let's enter Toyota for the first field that is values we can also provide comma separated child values for the above values we have entered it's totally optional we can provide an image for the values we have entered by clicking on the select button once you will select the button then you will see the two options will be there. One is the media library and other is upload files. Media library will show you the up already uploaded images and upload files will allow you to upload the images that you want to upload. You can select any file or from the media files you can choose any file and you can put the f uh, required field options like URL, title, caption, alt text and other fields that is required. It is totally optional optional so you can leave it as blank as well finally choose the select button to save your image now you can see the image is attached and if you want to remove it this image anytime you can do it later on or right now also you can add as many as car detail options by using add more button you can see it like here but they are showing the fields like values child values and images okay now move to the specification details it's pretty much self-explanatory by caption accompanying the particular setting option let me walk you through all of them gradually to make the things more clear the first one is required mandatory this option allow us to make a field compulsory to be filled by the user while publishing their ad listing the second one is character type this option allows us to determine whether the data to be entered by the user should be normal which means textual content or the number which means numeric figures like 19 or 50. V value label value label this field allows us to predetermine the label for the value entered by the user for example dollar for price or the kilometers for mileage the fourth one is label position this option allows us to determine whether the label would come before of after value as the name suggests prefix means before the value and postfix means after the value the fifth one is enable subfield this option allows us to enable or disable the visibility of the subfield related to the main field for example model number is a subfield or child field for the maker or the manufacturer field the sixth one is a subfield label this field allows us to enter the label for the subfield which will appear in the relation to main field. The seventh one is status after payment. This option lets us decide whether the user can add it or not the listing once payment has been dust done. Eighth one, the show the vehicle edit. This option lets us determine if would like the field to be editable from WP dashboard or not. Once we are done with the necessary changes in the specification detail panels, now we can preview the specification before publishing, save as a draft for later use or publish directly by clicking on the button on the right side column. Finally we are done here, I hope the things are very clear for, uh, to you. For the further queries you can directly go to our URL support.imathemes.com. Thank you guys.